Stretching is one of the most hotly debated topics in the sport community. And it might also be one of the least understood. Some think it's fundamental. Others think it's detrimental. The truth is it can be both. To stretch or not to stretch. Coming up on Knowledge and Performance. Part of the confusion around stretching is because the term stretching has been used to describe different types of exercises that do different things to the body. If you understand what stretching is and how and when to do it, it can be a powerful tool to help you both before and after a run. Basically, stretching is moving your muscles and joints through their complete range of motion. And there are two main types, dynamic activation, static stretching. Dynamic activation occurs when you move your muscles smoothly through a complete range of motion. Static stretching is where you put a muscle on stretch and hold it for a period of time. During dynamic activation, signals are sent from your brain through your nerves to your muscles, which increase metabolic activity. Dynamic activation increases your muscles' blood flow, temperature, range of motion, and power output. These movements are terrific to include as part of your warm-up because they prepare your body for more intense exercise. An example is doing smooth, deep walking lunges. Traditional A's and B's also fall into this category. The key to understanding the benefits and drawbacks of static stretching is the stretch reflex. Golgi tendon organs and muscle spindles are nerve endings that are in and around tendons and muscle fibers. When they detect too much force, or rapid lengthening of the muscle, they signal the muscles to contract to protect the muscle tendon unit from tearing. This is why your muscles can feel so tense when you first put them on stretch. But when you hold a gentle stretch for a longer time, usually about 20 to 30 seconds, the stretch reflex will calm down, your muscles will relax, your stretch will deepen. This will help your muscles to recover and heal. So before a workout, when you're trying to prime your body for activity, putting your muscles on static stretch is actually counterproductive. It has been shown to decrease muscle power. But after a runner workout, static stretches are great to help calm the nervous system, increase your flexibility, and relax your muscles. So the dilemma of stretching or not stretching is simple. You just need to do the right movements at the right time. Use dynamic activation to help you warm up, and static stretching to help you after a cool down. Here's some things to keep in mind about stretching. Use dynamic activation to help you warm up. Use static stretching after you cool down. Never bounce when you do static stretching. Remember to breathe. One of the best ways to learn how to activate and stretch is to try yoga. And if you're new to dynamic or static stretching, make sure you get instruction on how to do it properly.